Hello, this is Mark from MWB Arts, and today I am doing an ATC as part of the Art Sherpa Design Team. I am been doing at least one ATC a month on the theme, and this theme is festival or carnival. And I have already done an ATC here, and uh, let's see if I can show you that. Um, and I didn't record this one. And it's kind of done in the style of a um, poster. And it's a local festival that happens around here. There's a festival called the Jazz. This is a wine and jazz festival, so I just call it Jazz Fest. But they have a wine and jazz festival here once a year. And so I did one on that. Let me show you on the front camera here, too. There you go. Let's see what the lighting looks like on that. So that is what I did there. And today I am going to be doing another one. I've kind of lightly outlined it. So I don't know if you can really see much, but I'll be outlining it darker with a micron pin or with a Faber Castell pit pin. And it is going to be at the festival. It's called Kite Festival which happens once a year also in this area at um, a local beach, Long Beach, and in Long Beach in Washington. It's International Kite Festival, and it happens in August, so it's happening probably right about now, or maybe just last week, or you know, somewhere around there. And I used to go regularly as a family. My son, my wife, and I, We'd go to the beach and fly our kites and watch all the different people that are flying their kites and all the colorfuls in the sky. And I encourage you, if you've got a beach or a kite festival around here, you to go watch it or maybe look up on the internet to see what these kite festivals look like. Oh, there's so many different things out there that you can do for a festival. There's there's, there's hot air balloon festivals. We have a lavender festival. We have a garlic festival. Um, think just look up online if you're your local area to see what kind of festivals you have. So let's get started. First, I'd like to say thank you again to Cinnamon John for the uh, the uh, surprise box. The if you haven't seen my box that I unboxed er, earlier, I got this cool looking. I don't know. It's a siren, and it also shoots. Bubbles, there it goes. Bubbles. And one of the many pack things in the package. That and some of the um, the Neo colors. I have got five in my set. And I had a set that I found I, that I had owned of ten. And except only two of these actually duplicated. And then also my wife, Stephanie from Deliberately Creative, she also got five and so I have a good selection to choose from but I'm going to be using the set that I got the plus a couple other colors to use in my scene you know so I got this in my set three greens a salmon color and a oops and a brown in my set so but I'm going to use other colors like blues and some reds in my painting so I'm gonna zoom in here in a second here and also I'm gonna be doing this on this palette I have it's a textured slightly it's a car palette and it's textured where you can rub the colors on there and then you use a brush with water and paint your painting onto it or you can do go directly onto the you know onto your piece of paper that you have um, some other things I'd like to talk about real quick is, you know, if you can afford them, you can find these acrylic canvas linen uh, trading cards, ATC, uh, canvas papers, ATCs, there's blackboard ATCs, which is kind of a black paper, uh, another one's a sorted pack that came with a Bristol paper vellum um, and some watercolor, you can just cut out watercolor paper also into the shape of an ATC, and I got this one that's a uh, encaustic board which is a heavy duty which you really can't mail too well because it weighs a lot <laughs> but it's fun to practice on too 
and it holds different mixed media formats. You can also paint acrylics on it too, and whatever you want to do on that. But that's fun to practice on and play with, and I have played with it. It's fun. Um, so I am going to be going to zoom in here and start this project. And also got this cute little unicorn hat here also in this and this very cool owl jar that came with this very decorative uh, bag that the crayons, the, the water soluble crayons and the neo colors came in. And this cool little topper on that was painted and hooked into the bottom of the lid. So I'm going to be using some various small brushes and they just happen to be from the silver line, the, the black pearls, and the, the, the two of them watercolors. And one of, them, one of the small brushes is uh, like a, a number four, six, and then I got an ot, but a long handled one on that one. And like I said, I'm going to zoom in here, so hold on with me and I will probably do a little editing zoom. Anyway, so I've already framed him up with the, um, oh, what is that stuff called? It's a washi tape. And also I did the same thing with this one here. You can see the little washi tape on the edges. And then this was also the neo color painted on this uh, particular one that I did also. And the washi tape that I received is the bottom one there, that top one, and the side borders. And it's so fun to play with that washi tape too. And I will be sending this one out to somebody that is a member of the V. And it's, you know, trading for ATCs also. And to find out more information about ATCs and the ATC Trading Club, that's on Facebook and ATC on Cinnamon's uh, ArtSherpa.com site. Go to the bottom of the description, click it, and you can read all about it and the other members that are part of the Art Sherpa Design team that are creating videos also. So let's get started. I am going to take away my piece here. You don't need that for this part of the video. There we go. So. Let's get started. I think I am focused and yep, that's focused. Good. So I think we'll start off with painting the oh actually I'll ink it in first. So I will take my pit pins here. Taking a XS, so extra small pin, and ink it in. So this is just kind of a simple version of a little boy represents and like my son who would go to the kite festival with me and he just loved flying his kites. I mean when we got old, when he got older he wanted more different kites. We got trick kites and we got normal one string kites, but the trick kites sometimes would have two strings and different shapes and you could do so many things. You'd loop de loops, um, swoop it down and they were so much fun. This one I'm doing is just going to be a standard, you know, diamond type type kite. And it's going to have a tail on it. Maybe a double tail. Let's make it a double tail. So the kite festival, like I said, was like a week long event. And it was in August, and I think they're on like the 30th year of doing this kite festival. So we almost got started, you know, when it's when it's pretty young, you know, a couple, maybe less than 10 years old. <clears throat> so my son now is in his 30s. So this little boy's gonna be kind of partially stick figure and and you know, just kind of simple. As a simple life as it was when you, know, when you were a kid and stuff like that. And I am no, by no means, an 
expert at painting, an expert at watercolors or acrylics, or, but I love learning. I've learned so much from Cinnamon and John and other artists on YouTube and my wife Stephanie, who is also an artist and has her own YouTube channel, Deliberately Creative, and part of the Art Sherpa Design Team. I'm just going to put a couple more little kites up in the sky. And maybe put little tails on them. Yeah, they're all going to be diamond shape, I think. Because that's going to be easier to do. So I've got the line for the water and the, and the um, sky meet. And then the line for where the water meets the land or the beach or the sand so colors i need out here i need some blues for the sky i think so i'll get some dark blue and some light blue maybe i'll blend those colors together and it's just a blue sky day you know maybe the sun's at noon or something like that and we'll get some green color out here you know for maybe his trousers the little boy's trousers and the light green also and it can mix those colors into the ocean to get some nice oceany colors. And this one's here like an olive green, darker olive green. And then I got the salmon color here I can mix maybe with gray to get the sand color that I want. Oops. Whoa. Be careful with those things. They, the tips, if you press too hard and rubbing them off, they'll snap. <laughs> but I can, as long as I get enough color down on that. This uh, palette here, I won't need to sharpen right now. But you can you can sharpen it up later, and I'll get my brown out, which I might use for um, this shirt or hair. There we go, hair probably. Hair's a good color. Okay, and I'll probably be using some of these other colors here. Let's put a little bit of this. Oh, what is this one here? It's a vermilion. Uh, maybe I'll use that for one of the kite colors. A little bit vermilion. And some red. And then I will use other colors as I go on. So let's start off with my six in watercolor brush. Another good thing to have handy when you're doing these water soluble crayon things is because like watercolors, just have a tissue or something handy to dab your brush and maybe wipe it after you've rinsed your brush. Got my water off to my right here. So let's paint the sky. We'll start with some lighter blue up high. And since I got my kite drawn in, I don't want to go over top of the kite, so I'll be careful around that area. Okay, so right now I am working on it's a 140 weight. Um, can't remember if it was Strathmore or what paper it was, but it was block paper. And I don't have that handy, but it, and it's cold cold press watercolor paper, so and it's got some good hold to it. You know, if you're using a lot of water it's gonna warp since I already take it off taken it off the um its block, but uh, since I'm not taking up the block, it shouldn't. And since I've taken up the block, it shouldn't warp too much since I'm not going to add a lot of water. And if it does warp, I can get it to straighten out before I get it sent off to whoever this goes to. And since I'm on the design team, this will be my both of my ATCs will be going out. And and if you are in the paid subscription, which I think is ten dollars for three months. Yours will go out also to the Art Sherpa Design members, Design Team members, and so they can get one of yours if you're a paid member, and you can get one of theirs. And there's, and if you're not a paid member, you can do one with 
also just a stamp and and, uh, and, uh, and and you know leave a loose stamp in the envelope and all the information like I said will be in the description of where you can find where this gets sent to so let's start off with a blue sky maybe get a little darker as it goes down the lower you know, another way of doing this would be to put water down first if you want it really loose um, and then put in the you know dabbling the where the your color is going to go and it will kind of spread around Maybe I'll try that for the water a little bit. See how that works for the water. But right now I'm working around the kite tails and trying not to get too much of that color in other areas where it doesn't need to go. Okay. I'll get a little more of that darker blue down there. Make sure I'm staying on camera. <laughs> so, maybe in the comments you can let me know what kind of festivals you have in your area. You know, and if you like this video, let me know what you liked about it. Also in the comment section. And make sure and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe if you like this kind of content. And check out my other videos I have out there. But this is specifically for ATC group, which you can find in Facebook or on the Art Sherpa, Art Sherpa site. A total of seven members, I believe, so six other members of the art design team and the other members are all working on creating some awesome ATCs to send your way also and like I said check out their channels some of them are on Facebook some of them may be on Twitch and some of them may be sharing this their videos on Facebook um, like I said there will be a link to their channels and but by all means you know if this is, inspires you to try something of your own please share it on the Facebook ATC group if you're a member and if you're not a member maybe join in on the fun So when we did go to the beach, he used to take our dog when he was around too, and he loved chasing the birds, and, and that was his fun, and going and running towards the water and you know, jumping in, and then we'd have to get him all dry before we got in the car, or he smelled like a wet dog, <laughs> or get, and get the sand out of his you know, fur. Yeah. So, there we go, I've got some water in there now. I think I'll work on maybe try to figure out what sand color here. I'm going to stay away from the, uh, yeah, we'll try putting water in that area and see what happens when I put water in first. You know, I haven't tried that with these car and dodge before. Let's see what happens. So we're going to mix these colors, the gray and the salmon, to see if that makes a fun sand beach colors. Oops. 
Another thing that I did not grab was like a some kind of air mover to dry things up a little bit. I mean, I might need that. I will see what I can do. I can maybe uh, work around it in different directions and allow the other areas to dry enough that it won't bleed you know, into it. Okay, so I'm thinking that is looking pretty cool. Um, I said this is just my art journey and, and what I like doing and how I love learning it from everyone that shares their artwork and you know some of my inspiration comes from Pinterest but as long as I'm not selling it it's okay I think to you know paint something from Pinterest if you're just using it for your own practice but if you're selling something you want to make sure you get permission from the artist uh, or go to a you know, picture site that allows you to um, use the artwork or their photos copyright free and they're, they're out there too so let's see here let's get the little boys here and that's gonna be a brown color so far I've still been just working on the with number six you might say it's got a good pointy tip on it so you can kind of work carefully in the areas and not go outside but if you think you need a smaller tip brush they're out there use whatever you like using to do your paints I don't usually paint small but I've been getting better over the last couple months being on the design team and also just in being involved in the ATC group and lately been trying painting rocks that's kind of fun too because you know you can get rocks are almost the same size and I belong to a local rock painting type group it's called I think Vancouver Rocks you know we will paint the rocks and then we'll take a photo of these rocks and and uh, then when we hide them somewhere it's the fun part of it you know you, you hide them and take a picture of show maybe landmarks and so the people that know the area they're gonna be able to find your rock maybe no problem at all and you know if you think it's too easy by location just don't take as much picture of that landmark let's see here I'm gonna paint his mouth in just a red, I think, just... Oops. Okay, so what other colors here? Um, I have not used the greens that much yet. I'm saving them to add with the blues for the watercolors. Let's see what I can do for the watercolors here. So, it's a darker green. And some blue, we'll mix them together. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's kind of nice. I'll look at it on the screen. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Some waters can be green. Uh, the water that I'm used to, you know, at the beaches in, near our area was kind of colder. And they were kind of greeny, murky, dark, you know, blue. So we'll just kind of blend those colors together. Like I said, I'm no expert with watercolors, but man, I've been, I've been getting better. I, I'm enjoying my process. I don't know what everybody else's level is with watercolors, but maybe uh, if you do a watercolor ATC, you can share it in the 
KTC group on Facebook and say, hey, I'm a, uh, I'm enjoying the process with watercolors a lot too, and I've been learning a lot from other artists. And maybe you know, make sure and mention the other artists' names if you're learning from them. They, you know, talk, tell them, hey, I've been inspired by your work. They like hearing that. And when you, you know, you're, a lot of times if you're just doing it for practice. And you're just saying, hey, I'm sharing it with my social media group, and I'm not planning on selling this. It's okay if I use your, you know, your photo of your painting for inspiration. And most of the time, they'll say, well, yeah, I'm so honored that you thought my painting was cool and inspired you to do it. I mean, a lot of times, of course, if they're doing tutorials, and you're learning from somebody that's doing tutorials, they want you to usually their from their tutorials because that's what they're doing they're teaching people and well, I'm assuming she does watercolor paintings on Facebook and on uh, Instagram TV I think it's called IGTV and and some of them off was also on Facebook or YouTube and so yeah she's got lots to offer in watercolor paintings lately too so Check hers out on IGTV and look at the art Sherpa. And uh, she's fun to learn from too. Uh, I've done a couple for water paintings, watercolor paintings, and several of her acrylic paintings. And uh, I did a little bit of the creative. She's been lately doing more watercolor paintings too. And she explores other paintings, you know acrylic pour paintings and painting on top of acrylic pores and she's done a couple of other mediums so I encourage you to check out her channel too and like I said that'll be in the description because she's part of the art trip design team also okay what should I work on next oh maybe the kite since the water's probably dry enough let's paint the color of the kite I haven't used oh colors like uh, Oh, it's purple here. I think I haven't used that one yet. Maybe purple, this light purple. And some. And some red in the kite. There we go. Still playing with the same <laughs> brush. I, so far, I haven't had to switch. I might switch for the. When I get to the tail, but uh, so far, just enjoying. Trying to control the where the water and the color are going with that tip. So far, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, okay, I like that. Let's see. So, this kite, oops, went outside the line. His kite is a simple kite. Maybe I will switch the small one so I don't go outside and look too much more. Uh, go down to the size four. It's a little smaller. You know, as long as you keep that tip nice and pointy. See how that looks. Keep it nice and pointy. You can control where that color goes. Let's see what other colors my kite is going to be. What? Since it's in the sky, maybe. Oh, maybe some dark green. There we go. Put more green down on my palette. And there we go. I'm just having so much fun learning and exploring new mediums all the time. I mean, I've explored pastels now, and colored pencils, and watercolor pencils, watercolor acrylics. I have not tried oil paints. I don't know if I will or not, but eh, it's always something that looks kind of cool, you know, you watch those Bob Ross paintings, and, you know, and it's kind of a fun medium and uh, let's see here 
Oh, well, maybe some orange. Light orange in this my other part of the kite. No. Light orange makes it a little bit darker orange. And now there's these little kites here. Maybe I'll just split the colors in them since they're distant kites. And oh, let's see here. Hot purple and orange on one. And the other kite, oh, maybe a green. And what other color can we get? Maybe a bright red. Those two colors are always nice together. Okay, so what do we got left? The tail and the boys. Shirt pants, huh? Oh, yeah, that's, that's looking cool. Anyway, these ATCs are 2.5 inches by 3.5, so you want you generally a small brush to play around with them. Oh, let's see, we'll make his shirt nice, bright red. reason I used the pit pastel or the fabric castell pit pins earlier to do the line work first is because they are wa pretty water resistant or waterproof. Let's see, I believe they say waterproof. Let me double check here. They are waterproof, yeah. And you know, there's sometimes where I've run ones that are called water resistant. Which really weren't that water resistant, or if they were water resistant, you'd let them dry 100%. These you have to let dry some too, but they dry pretty darn quick. So I haven't had much bleeding issues with this particular um, pin work. Oh, let's see what other. I put some yellow shorts on this little boy here. Getting close to the end here, so. Thank you for joining me on my art journey today. And like I said, in the comment section, please tell me you know, what festivities you have in your local community. And share your artwork on the Facebook page, the Arch at ATC Facebook page. this kite tail yellow. I haven't done that color on the kite anywhere. Let's see. Give it a yellow kite tail. So this particular tail on the closer up you know, one is lower to the ground. And so you can see the tail better. And so I'll make it a wider tail. There we go. And finally a little boy. I'll use some of the salmon color for his skin a little bit. Just a light salmon color. Looks pretty good for flesh tone, I think. Yeah. So I think I am almost done here. I'm going to darken up the side one more time, even though I've already did a pin. It's kind of it's 
kind of light looking, so I'm gonna use a little bit of black here and hope I don't bleed out too much because I've got those watered down. Oops, and I just did, but to correct that, I can dab it. There we go. There we go. Let's try again. It's got too much water in that area, so I'll dab it dry and then try again for a little bit of black. More soluble crown and dab one more time. There. That's not too bad. There might be a little bit of a bleed out, but that's okay. I can always come back with a little bit of the skin finish colors and go around the eye. Or dab it again and if I think I uh, might have got too much down or taken water on the brush and let me swipe there we go across mm -hmm. there we go I just took my chisel tip a little chisel of my pit pen and just to give it a little more something to his eye there. And I think his leg disappeared here a little bit, so I'm gonna take the pin again and draw that back on also. Hmm. It's not showing up. I think I need to go for a bigger tip a little bit. There we go, there's a small tip. That way I can get a little more ink come out. So, thank you again for watching, and don't forget to check out the other Art Sherpa Design Team members, and watch what they did for their ATC for this month of the theme festival or carnival. And I know I've seen a couple of them, and they've turned out amazing. So, thanks again, and let me see here. I'm click on this and bring back my face one more time there we go thank you again for coming by my channel and checking me out put some color on the canvas and I'd love to see what you did too share it in the Facebook ATC group if you're a member or if you're not a member come join in on the fun like I said, all the information will be in the description. There'll be frequently asked questions, answers to. Um, check it out. Thanks again. And isn't they cute? Oh, I love how that turned out. Oh, except for it's not going to show up on there because I have a green screen. <laughs> so I will just leave it there. Oh, you can even see that little border in that cool out shimmers. I love how that, that. I think I will leave the little um border on this or I might take it off and paint the border but either way it looks cool come back again and thanks for coming by this is MWB Arts have a good day and put some color on the canvas have a great day thanks bye